more for this conversation, this contact is all that we may indeed go and it's deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper and Allow me to introduce myself. For better or for worse, I am your governor here in Virginia in this year of 17 and 80. My name, quite simply, is Mr. Jefferson, Thomas Jefferson, at your service, friends. You need, no, no, now, you need not applaud. I'm not Patrick Henry. You're We've still great. We've with Mr. Henry, have we not? We have. Who before me served as governor here in Virginia? I'm sorry. <laughs> Who before me for three years, three allowable years by our Virginia Constitution, three one-year terms lived in that, uh, that uh, three-story pile of ostentation there? <laughs> Mr. Henry. We have done away with Mr. Henry, have we not? <laughs> we have properly rusticated him, so I say. Put out to pasture. May he ever chew uncut. <laughs> Uh, it is my belief that there should be always term limits instituted across every level of government. <laughs> Clearly, you're not politicians. <laughs> uh, this is indeed not a, not a delightful thought amongst politicians who, if you believe uh, the word of Mr., although it is ahead of my time, Mr. Alexander Hamilton, have you heard of him? Oh, you are you a, are you a friend of Mr. Hamilton? Yes. You are. Yes. Well, the exit is that way. <laughs> I uh, I it, it is premature of me to speak of him in, in such light in this year of 17 and 80, but no doubt he will have no difference of opinion later in our life. <laughs> Certainly, politics will never enter into a, a distinction between a friendship. Yes. <laughs> no. What what are what are these subjects upon which we are not to discourse? when we have family gather, gathered about at a Christmas tide celebration. 